Good morning NC Kids. How are you guys doing this morning? We are going to be doing the story about when Jesus healed the official son. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Today's memory verse comes from Psalm 29 verse 11 and it says, The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Before we get started with the story, I want you guys to think about the time when someone you cared about was very sick. So this could be your mom, a dad, brother or sister, maybe even your grandparents or a friend. How did that make you feel? I know when someone I care about gets sick, it doesn't make me feel that happy. And what did you do? In today's story, we're going to be learning about what a man did when his son was very, very sick. The news spread like wildfire when the people of Galilee heard that Jesus was coming to visit. The Passover, a special Jewish holiday, had just ended. Many people who lived in Galilee had gone down to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. Jesus had been there too, and many people had seen the miracles that he had performed and were so excited to see him again, and they were eager to see more evidence of his power. Jesus and his friends soon arrived in the Galilean town of Cana. While he was there, Jesus had a visitor. This visitor was very different to the ordinary people of Cana. He didn't dress the same as they did, and he wasn't dressed in simple clothes. His clothes were rather fancy, and he probably didn't speak like them either. He probably used a lot of important sounding words, at least until he spoke to Jesus. Who was this visitor? Let's have a look in John 4 verse 46. John 4 verse 46 reads, As he traveled through Galilee, he came to Cana, where he turned water into wine. There was a government official in a nearby town whose son was very sick. The government, or royal official, had come to see Jesus because he had heard about the great healer. This royal official probably worked for the king at the time, who had been appointed by the Roman government. As well known or as popular as he might have been, he wasn't afraid to ask Jesus for help. Please come down and heal my son, he begged. Now, since the man worked for the king, he probably had a lot of money that he used to spend on doctors and medicines. Nothing had helped. He was worried that his son might die. Now we are going to read from John 4 verse 48 to hear what Jesus responded to the royal official's request. John 4 verse 48 reads, Jesus asked, Will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? Jesus wasn't only speaking to the official. He was speaking to everyone else that was both listening and waiting to see what Jesus would do. You see, Jesus knew both the thoughts and the feelings of those people. He knew that they were amazed by the miracles that he was performing, but he was sad. He was sad that people were more interested in watching him perform the miracles than believing in God. The royal official said again, so come down before my child dies. No matter what, the royal official wanted to see his son get well again. He knew that Jesus had the power to heal him, but Jesus didn't move. He didn't immediately go to see the man's son. We are going to read now in John 4 verse 50 to see what Jesus responded to the man. John 4 verse 50 reads, Then Jesus told him, Go back home, your son will live. And the man believed what Jesus said and started home. The next day while he was traveling, the official noticed his servants running out to meet him. They were both excited and out of breath. Do you know why they were excited? Let's read in John 4 verse 51 to 52. John 4 verse 51 to 52 reads, While the man was on his way home, some of his servants met him with the news that his son was alive and well. He asked them when the boy had begun to get better, and they replied, Yesterday afternoon, at one o'clock, his fever suddenly disappeared. The official realized that his son was healed at the exact same time that Jesus had said, your son will be well. When the official returned home, he was excited to see his son happy and healthy again. 
From that time on, the important official and his family not only believed that Jesus was the Son of God, but also believed that he had the power to help him. Sometimes we don't always ask God for help. We either forget or maybe think that God isn't interested in smaller problems like getting a good grade. But I want you guys to remember that God is always willing to listen and help when we need. I hope you guys enjoyed the story for this Sunday. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.